Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge, huge happy birthday to the Libras and the Scorpios. Happy birthday. I'm a Scorpio. Today is my birthday. So um, yeah, that goes to me as well. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I, I am with you on this. Happy birthday. And I hope you have yourself a fantastic day. You know, um, where I am, I'm in Canada and it's raining. But you know what? That doesn't even bother me because today's my birthday. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is um, just uh, my series, What's Going On Behind the Scenes with the Libra Collective. So this is just uh, what's going on in the subconscious, what's going on behind the curtain with the Libra Collective, along with guidance and advice from spirit. So with that being said, cards have already been shuffled and drawn, and I am going to get right to it. Okay, so we have here, hmm, Storm Warning. Page of Swords in Reverse. Hope you guys can see that. Hmm, Four of Air. King of Swords in Reverse. And five of earth in reverse. Libra, what is going on? Okay, so it looks like in the past, hmm, in the past, Libras, you dealt with somebody who was a motherfucking demon. They were a demon. Yes. Mm hmm. I keep hearing the words unscrupulous, ruthless. Yeah, this person. And the thing is, you started to see what type of person you were dealing with. You started to see this person for who they really were and what they really were. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing I'm seeing the image of someone who's wearing a mask, right? When they take off the mask, it's like a demon's face. Like that's not even, this person is dark. Like this, they, their energy is, is dark. You could have very well be dealing with, dealing with a dark entity. Mm-hmm. Wow. Even this energy, the energy of this person makes me want to like get defensive, like, like, I feel like I need to armor up. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, I can't, I cannot let you come around me. This person was cruel. This person was dangerous. This person was a sadist. So that is, this person was someone who, they like to see people in pain. They like to see people hurting because this person went out of their way. This person planned, they plotted and planned, they organized and strategized a way to friggin' bring you down, to hurt you. Yes, to bring storms, to bring brimstone and fire into your life. They planned it. Yeah, they sat down and planned it. They took their time and planned it out. That's the type of person that you were dealing with in the past. And you started to see, you started to see them for who they really were. You saw that this person was wicked. And they were cruel and they loved problems, just conflict, drama, chaos. Yeah. This person liked to hurt people. They like, they enjoy it. They like to see people in pain. And that's who you were with. Some of you are still with this person. Mm -hmm. You may have not, in the past, you did not feel prepared for this shit storm that was coming from this person. This person blindsided you, yeah? You may have thought everything was going good, right? And then this person just, this person came up with the brimstone and fire. It's like, it's like the sun was out and then all of a sudden, just thunder and lightning. Everything got dark and then thunder and lightning came. You were not expecting it. You were not expecting this person to do that to you, do what they did. Mm -hmm. This person may have also, because of the problems or, and the things that you're going through with this person, it affected your health. You could have gotten sick. Mm -hmm. 
or this could have been a sickness that came came on to you that you were not you would have never expected that you would have gotten sick like that you felt very powerless you felt defeated with this person or it, with the sickness if if for those of you that may have gotten sick in the past you felt um you felt powerless you felt like you couldn't do anything Hmm. My son just came back from school. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? So this was in the past. Presently, my Libras, we have Door to Spirit. Eight of Swords. Eleven of Earth. Four of Cups and King of Air in reverse. You guys, I just have to say, like, this person's energy is very, like, it's giving me a headache. Yeah, it's making my head hurt. Mm hmm. It's making my head hurt. It's making my, my throat just feel like, like it wants to close up. This person, this person, it, they were like a, it's like they were a cloud of destruction. Like wherever they wherever they go, everything turns to shit. I just keep hearing dark entity. This person is a dark entity. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so ugh, this is getting kind of deep now, you guys. Okay, so... I'm picking up with this person from the past. They they weren't always like this. They weren't always dark. They did something, did something to someone or did something with someone. And this lowered their vibration so much that lower entities were able to attach themselves onto them. I'm seeing someone who has... A, hmm. It's like all these little entities are hitching a ride with them. That's what it looks like. Yeah. This this person from the past, they have a lot of um, lower vibrational entities attached to them. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's gross. Ugh. I need to get out of this. I need to get out of this. Okay, so we have here presently uh, Eight of Swords. Okay, so spirit, presently, spirit, spirit guided you and is continuing to guide you away from this, away from this person, away from this situation, circumstance, guiding you away from this conflict, you know, you may, you may currently feel imprisoned, stuck, mm -hmm. sick, for those of you, you may feel sick. You may feel like there may be no end to this misfortune. You know, some of you may have gotten bad news. You know, some of you, um, you're feeling very critical or you're being criticized right now. Some of you, I'm picking up strongly. There are people around you that are watching you go through this hardship in your life. And instead of lending a helping fucking hand, they're just talking about you. They're talking about you. They're gossiping about you. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you how beautiful spirit is, right? And let me tell you how loved you are. Because despite all of this shit, spirit has your back, right? Spirit has your back. And you're listening to spirit. You're listening to your inner guidance. Because if you weren't listening to your inner guidance, you wouldn't have started to see that this person was a fucking demon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So spirit is guiding you to spirit is guiding you on how to get yourself out. It's like, OK, so I'm seeing I'm seeing light. That's um, it's like being like someone has you cornered and it's like a big boulder. Right. And and spirit is kind of like showing you, like, just look over to the side and look down at the breadcrumbs and follow. You can slip out through 
through between the rocks, you know, like the rock and the hard place. You can slip out through it if you just follow these breadcrumbs. Follow the light, right? Create balance in yourself. Mm -hmm. Go within. Go within and create harmony and balance. Go and tap into that space within you that knows that no matter what, all is well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this will create balance in you so that you can see um, you can see your way out of this problem, this storm. Because this, some of you, you may just be feeling too damn tired. Mm -hmm. You may be exhausted, right? Disappointed, unhappy. Some of you are feeling bitter about what happened in the past with this person. Mm -hmm. Some of you may be feeling imprisoned, stuck. Like you can't make any moves, you can't go anywhere, you can't turn left, you can't turn right, you can't go up, you can't go down. Some of you are feeling absolutely disgusted, and I am picking up that energy very, very strongly. Disgusted with somebody, disgusted at what they did. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Okay, some of you, don't shoot the messenger. I'm a parent myself, and I don't like... But I got to read the messages. I got to let the messages come out the way they come. So some of you, you're dealing with someone who they may have touched your child, you know, or you found out that this person was a child molester. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm just feeling this deep. It's like disgust disappointment sadness anger it's like a it's like a sauce with all of them yeah some of you you were married to this person or you were in a long-term relationship with this person but you don't have a child it, it's you your child is that person's stepchild and that person touched your child mm-hmm I just need to gather myself, you know. I have three kids. Yeah. Okay. This person is not. They're not a good person. Nope. This person actually has a lot of, like I said before, they have a lot of um, dark entities attached to them because of some stuff that they were in, something that they did with someone. Mm -hmm. This person is... They're ruthless. And this person will go to great lengths. to. They want to see you on your knees. Yeah. They want to see you on your face. They don't want anything good to happen to you. They don't want anything good to happen for you. This person, they want to see you. It's like they want to see you locked up, suffering, struggling. They want to see you impoverished. They want to see you. They just want your life to be horrible. Yeah, that's what this person, and some of you, some of you spirit is telling me to tell you to go and check on your kids and sit down and really talk to them, right? Take them out to dinner or we can't really go anywhere right now, but make time to go and sit down and talk to your children and spirit said, listen to them and believe them. Yes, ask them some serious questions and believe them. They're not lying. They're not doing it because they want attention. Ugh, this energy, this energy of this person, this person makes me want to just choke, just choke them out. Just choke them, choke them out. But I'm of the light, right? So I'm gonna leave karma. I'm gonna let karma deal with these type of people. Mm -hmm. These type of energies. But Spirit said some of you need to go and talk to your kids and ask them some questions about if anybody touched them. Family member, friends, right? Anybody, ask them and believe them. Hmm. This is not the reading that I thought I was going to get today, my Libras. 
or this person, this person will try to bait you. They'll try to bait you into an argument, um, bait you into getting angry, bait you into a fight. Why? Because this person is a dark entity. So what are they trying to do? They are trying to lower your vibration, right? So you'll play with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll interact with them. Mm -hmm. So your vibration matches theirs. That's what they want. They want to bring you down in life. And the only way to bring you down in life is to start with your vibration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the entities attached to this person, they know that. They know that. It's like, um, what is it? Have any of you guys seen, I have a nine-year-old son, so I watched, what is it? Um, Avengers Infinity Wars. I think it's Avengers of Infinity Wars with Captain America and Captain Marvel and Thanos. This person is like Thanos. Mm -hmm. That goes around just destroying worlds just because... That's just what they believe he believes is right. And this is the way how he wants it. So he doesn't care if he killed half of the universe. This is how you solve that problem with him. This person is like Thanos, right? Wherever they go, things die. Things dry up. Mm -hmm. Things lose their luster. Life, life is gone. Mm -hmm. This person wants to take your life. Right. And this person can be for some of you, this person is dangerous enough to do that. Yeah. Some of you may end up having to get a restraining order on, on this person. Mm -hmm. Some of you may end up having to move. Like move and not tell anybody where you're going from this person. Jeez. So what do we have here? In the near future, we have attachment in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Queen of Fire. Five of Coins. And Ace of Fire. Sorry, you guys. I just need I need some water. Hmm. Okay, so Spirit is saying, Libra, Spirit is saying that you need to detach from this person. Some of you are still with this person. Mm -hmm. Spirit said, for those of you that, for those that you that resonate with this and you're still with this person, ah, I'm being drawn back to your kids. <sighs> Spirit wants you to pay attention to your kids. Observe your kids around certain people. Mm -hmm. Do your kids like, um, if someone comes to touch them, do they shy away? Or do they not want to go around somebody? Do they get upset when someone comes over? Right? Be aware of who you're leaving your kids with. Yeah. Spirit said to pay attention to your kids around certain people. Okay, so Spirit wants you to detach. And when I say detach, I don't mean just like stop liking this person anymore and don't talk to them for a little while. Spirit wants you to freaking get gone from this person. Get them away from you. And they're probably not going to leave, so you leave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I keep hearing run for the hills. Run for the hills. Yeah. Yeah. Detach from your fear of instability, your fear of change, because this person does not love you. This person, they don't know how to love. Mm -hmm. They don't understand it. Yeah. And they never, they never had good examples of love. They never, um, they never received it. So they don't get it. You need to leave this person. Spirit saying you need to leave this person. Mm -hmm. This person may act like they love you, but they don't know what it is. They don't love you. Spirit wants you to detach. Mm -hmm. Detach from your fear of change. Detach from um, that sense of doubt that you won't be stable without this person. Because you will be a lot better off without this person in your life. 
Spirit said you were stable before they came. You became instable when they came, right? Because this person had you clouded. Mm -hmm. Had you in your head, confusion, emotional confusion this person caused. Mm -hmm. Spirit is saying, if you decide to stay with this person, this is what's going to happen. Five of Cups, if you stay with this person, okay? This is problems, destitution, loss, failure, error. Just the, You're just making the wrong moves. Why? Because your, your thoughts are clouded, right? You can't think clearly. Your chakras are blocked. You can't see. You can't see anything, right? You're not getting your downloads right. Spirit can't, can't get through to you, right? Because you're clouded. That's what this person is going to do, right? This person is also, they're going to continue to cheat on you. Yeah. As I'm picking up other energies as well. Mm-hmm. So this per for those of you that was with this person, hats off to you. I clap for you, right? Because you knew that you needed, because you started to see that this person was a fucking demon and you left you create you gave yourself yourself the opportunity to create new beginnings for yourself yeah passionate new beginnings a new life right mhm mm for those of you that are still with this person spirit said you need to leave them yeah like asap like last year you need to leave them like last year yeah because this is what's going to happen if you stay. Mm -hmm. Some of you, this is going to have long-term inner um, trauma. It's going to cause trauma on your children. Right? It's also going to cause um, your children to not like you, not love you. Because you didn't believe them. Because mm -hmm. you didn't protect them when they needed to be protected the most. And spirit doesn't want that to happen. For some of you in the future, for those of you that are still with this person, I'm seeing a text message. Some of you may be getting a text message from their, their side piece. Yeah. Or email or um, a DM, social media, Facebook, Instagram, someone's going to send you a DM. Yeah. Outing them. Yeah, I've been with your dude or I've been with your woman. This is what's going on. Mm -hmm. Right? Just to fuck with you even more. Like things weren't hard with you, all, like already hard enough. Yeah. You are not going to have any um, any victory with this person. It's going to be failure after failure after failure. Why? Because this person is a dark entity. They have dark entities attached to them. And wherever they go, they leave a trail of destruction and dissolution. Destitution. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have any abundance with this person. Right? As a matter of fact, your money is going to go down. You're never going to see it, right? You're just going to see bills, right? Problems, stress, right? Look at this. This person is like clothes ripped up, following behind somebody, and they're on their knees crawling after someone who's not paying attention to them. This person could give a fuck. They don't have a fuck to give about this person behind them. Why? Because they have no more life for them to suck. Right? They don't have nothing else to take from you. I'm done. I don't need anything from you. I got everything that I needed. Now fuck off. That's this person. And this is you. You will be this person. And spirit doesn't want that for you. But you have to want this for yourself. You have to want this for yourself. Right? Spirit can want it for you all day long. But you have to want it for yourself and make moves for it. Because they can't intervene without your permission. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spirit said to wrap it up. I didn't even realize it's been 24 minutes. This was a deep read, Libras. This is what's going on behind the scenes for you. I need to sage. 
<laughs> I need to go sage after this. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I'm looking for my smudge stick right now. Libras, all power to you. I send you healing and happiness so that and strength to get through this, right? Clarity of, of thought to get through this. Yeah. Strength. You need strength. You're gonna need strength. But you can do this. You wanna know why? Because spirit has got your back. Spirit's got your back. So I'm rooting for you along with the spirit. Okay. Okay, my beauties, my handsomes. <sighs> wow. If you are looking for a personal reading, there is a link in my description, the top of my description box that takes you to my, my Etsy store. Uh, you can book a personal reading with me there. Also, if you scroll down to the bottom of my description box, there is a link to my online store where I sell um, a lot of transformational products and services. You know, it's to me, it's all about helping others to help themselves. You know, if we have a planet where everyone's self-sufficient, <laughs> you know, whole because they love their self and healed oh my goodness and i'm all for it <laughs> okay so if i can help this is how i choose to help in my own unique way so i encourage you to click the link look around whatever spirit guides you to purchase spirit will give you the money for okay so with that being said you have yourself a fantastic morning noon or night and i will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side bye libra